Hi and welcome to Rabbit Types. This is a video series where I look at your pictures of your bunnies and uh, we try to figure out what breed your rabbit is. Uh, the series has become very popular and I've gotten a ton of submissions and so I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, going through them and uh, this is the first video I'm doing in the new uh, set of series. I'll probably be doing 20 of these videos. Um, so today we're going to start with a submission by Amber and Amber had sent me pictures of three of her rabbits and I'm going to go through them one at a time uh, in different videos because uh, there's something interesting about all three of them. Um, things, things to learn about uh, rabbit breeds, rabbit colors, etc. that we can learn from each one. And the first one we have here is Benjamin and Amber had written that Benjamin is about four or five pounds. She knows he's a lop but she's not sure what type of lop he is. So um, I'm going to start out with uh, the actual breed because I want to get into the color because the color of this rabbit is very, very interesting. Uh, Benjamin is a mini lop. Uh, I know this because there are only um, five types of lops. There's the Holland lop, the mini lop, the fuzzy lop, the French lop, and the English lop. Uh, those are the five accepted breeds in the U.S., uh, breeds of lops in the U.S. When I say accepted, they actually have rabbit shows similar to they have dog shows. So they're recognized breeds. Uh, Holland lops are usually about three pounds up to four. Uh, mini lops are five pounds. They can be as low as four. That's a small mini lop. They can be as high as seven. That's a really big mini lop. Uh, Hollands rarely get over four pounds and um, she said that Benjamin's between four and five pounds just looking at him he looks like he's got some girth to him I'm gonna have to say pretty certain on uh, mini lop on this guy uh, but I want to talk about the color because Benjamin's color is very very interesting we actually have um, two pictures of Benjamin there's one there's the other one and one thing that you'll notice is if you've seen any of my previous videos we talk about the broken pattern and what broken means is that you have a white rabbit with a white body and spots uh, usually the spots are along the spine uh, along the hind legs here normally down the ears around the eyes and on the nose so Benjamin could be very confusing for some people because they would look at him and say well he has the spots on the back where are his nose spots and his and the color on his ears um, I'm, I'm gonna come back to that but I want to point one other thing out that whenever you have a broken normally there's only one col one other color than white so you usually have white and then um, this would be an orange here and uh, that's what most brokens are but when you look at Benjamin you notice uh, not only does he not have the butterfly on the nose here and on the ears but he has a couple of dark spots here and I actually emailed Amber just to clarify from her um, that the, those were spots and not just smudges or, or um, either on the lens of the camera or that he had some smudges on him and she did verify that yes he has a couple of dark spots along his body so here's the deal. Oh, the other thing that she verified, I asked her if Benjamin had blue eyes and she said yes he does. So here's what we have here. We have a broken mini lop. And while you would look at this normally and say well his color is orange, the presence of those couple of spots mean that he is actually a harlequin. And harlequins we've talked about before. And actually let me go uh, open up a tab here and let's look at give me one second here let's look at some harlequins okay so we're on google images and this is a harlequin rabbit harlequin is both a breed and a color so this is an orange, uh, or actually they would call it a black Japanese harlequin rabbit. Uh, harlequins come in either white with stripes or orange with stripes. Now what happens when you um, take a harlequin rabbit 
and you breed it with a broken body type, let me, I'm trying to find one other set of pictures here for you. Go over here to the images. Whenever the broken pat or the broken yeah the broken pattern is combined with the Harlequin coloring, you get a spotted rabbit like this, where you have um, a base color, uh, usually orange, with spots of what would be the stripe. So the broken pattern actually not only makes spots out of the base color the orange but it also makes spots out of the what would be the stripes so it spots them both so you actually get spotted rabbits beautiful uh, tricolors are one of my absolute favorite especially in mini rex this is a mini rex here uh, they're, they're just a really neat look to them very very pretty rabbits and that's what we oops and that's what we have with Benjamin. Only with Benjamin, uh, he was, if he was not broken, he would be what would be considered a very bad quality Japanese rabbit, Japanese harlequin, because he would have had very few stripes on his body. He probably would have been all orange with maybe just a stripe here and maybe a stripe back here. Um, the ones like I showed you, that orange Japanese that I showed you, that is like top quality. They usually don't come out that good, and um, especially if you're not, if if the rabbit wasn't bred, you know, if if it's not the Harlequin breed, um, they don't, they're not breeding for the strong bands like that. So in other breeds, you'll get um, a sparser um, banding on it a lot of times. Not all the time. Sometimes you get really good uh, markings on them, but Benjamin basically would have been. A, a Japanese Harlequin rabbit with very few stripes on him and then when that broken gene got in there it spotted all of the color so it spotted the orange and then it spotted those couple of dark spots you see there now the other thing interesting about Benjamin remember we said that the nose and the ears do not have any uh, any color on them and this is because Benjamin has blue eyes and it, you know, the average person would say, what do blue eyes have to do with uh, the color on a rabbit's nose and ears? Rabbits with blue eyes, with bright blue eyes, there's, there's a um, kind of a bluish gray that sometimes you'll get in a rabbit's eye, but that's usually if the rabbit itself is a blue color, and this, this is not the case here. Um, but bright blue eyes only come with the Vienna gene. The Vienna gene, if you have a rabbit that has two Vienna genes, meaning mom gave it a Vienna gene and dad gave it a Vienna gene, you'll have a solid white rabbit with blue eyes. If the rabbit only gets one Vienna gene, meaning one of the parents gave it a Vienna gene and the other one did not, it gave it a normal gene, uh, all sorts of things can happen, but usually what will happen is the rabbit will get um, some Dutch type markings in the face which means it will take the color away from the face uh, it will many times take colors out of the ears and it will also create white bands across the body uh, this is not an area that would have normally had color anyhow so we don't notice that but we do notice that all his entire butterfly is missing it's technically still there uh, but that one Vienna gene in his genetic makeup is covering it with white. Same with the ears. Technically there is color there, but that Vienna gene overrode the color and it's being covered up by that, that genetic white. Same with red-eyed whites. Uh, any rabbit that's white with red eyes, genetically it's probably has every different color mixed in it you could think possible but that one red-eyed white gene just completely covers everything up and you don't see it so that's what's happening with Benjamin um, rabbits that have the Vienna gene don't always have the blue eye but when they have markings this extreme where it will take complete color away from face ears bands on the back you almost always have some kind of blue in the eye the Vienna gene can 
uh, present itself even as small as just a little white spot on the nose. In that case, you normally won't see blue eyes. Sometimes you do, but um, if it's just a little white spot on the nose or maybe one little white paw, um, you don't get the blue eyes as much. But if it shows itself dramatic like it is here, uh, you get the blue eyes. Let's see if we can find a picture of a rabbit that is not broken. Vienna sport rabbit. They call them sports when they come out with the uh, with the uh, only one gene. So let's see what we can find here. Here's almost a good example. Um, you can see it has very similar to Dutch-like markings, but it looks like that guy's got a blue eye. Uh, there's a really good example right there. That is a Vienna gene. Um, you can see how much it's got the Dutch face, it's got the color missing from the ears, and a lot of color missing from the body. Sometimes you'll have one just big band coming across here, but the rump and the shoulders are white. Um, it's a very odd gene. It does not show itself in any consistency. Like I said, it could be something as small as the tip of the nose, and it could be something as extreme as this. Um, if there was one other Vienna gene in this bunny, it would be solid white with blue eyes. Uh, that is also a Vienna gene there. You can see he's got uh, this Angora here has a blaze, and you can almost see the tips of little white feet coming through there. Uh, that is not a Vienna bunny. So again, Vienna is just a gene. It's it's uh, a gene that affects color. Um, two of the genes create a white rabbit with blue eyes. One single gene creates a rabbit with um, odd markings. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay, so Benjamin is a Japanese Harlequin, probably black, but I can't see that spot for sure. It's possible that he's a blue, but because his color is light, but probably a black Japanese Harlequin um, that's broken, so that makes him a tricolor with the Vienna gene. So he's a tricolor mini lop with a Vienna gene. Um, and I hope, Amber, that that's helpful. Um, I actually had emailed Amber and asked her uh, if I could do each of her bunnies separately um, because all she really wanted to know was this one, but each one of them has uh, a way that you know I can teach you a little bit more about rabbit genetics and and there's a it's an interesting little mix that she has here but uh, Benjamin is just too cute I was very excited when I saw the picture of him because that is this is a very unique uh, demonstration of how different genes together can produce a very unique looking rabbit so again that was Benjamin if you would like me to do a video of your bunny just simply send me pictures of your rabbit along with the weight, where you live, what country you live in basically because that does matter. Different countries have different breed standards. I specialize in rabbits in the US. I know a little bit about the ones in the UK and Australia but um, mostly I know the US breeds. But if you live in the UK or, or um, Australia don't, don't hesitate to send me the pictures. I can at least give a US interpretation of what you have. And um, also send in um, things like the eye color, that sort of thing. If there's an odd color eye, especially if there's blue eyes, always let me know if there's blue eyes. Uh, send it to the email at the end of this video. And uh, like I said, I'm getting a lot of submissions right now because these, these uh, videos have really become a hit. So it may take me a while to get to your video, but don't fear. I will get through them all, and I will get them all posted. You can always check back at our YouTube channel and uh, see what new. And if you subscribe, then you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded there. So again, this was Benjamin. Thank you again, Amber, for sending this in, and we'll see you in the next video.